Are any Slayer members interested in a potential reunion? Is there a chance of it happening at all? I'll probably have to say no. <laughs> What's up guys, Thrash Potato hanging out over on Metal Injection. We got some news about Slayer, let's get into it. It says, Thrash Metal Legend Slayer called it quits in 2019. I happened to be at the second to last show, it was amazing. And the world of metal was never the same afterwards, and that's the truth. Some whispers of a potential reunion have been circulating among the band's devoted fan base in the last years, somewhat fueled by guitarist Kerry King, the saying that he thinks the band had retired too soon. I do too, but that's on them, you know what I'm saying? However, King and Slayer drummer Paul Bostaff now have their own band, named after King, and are debuting live next year. Tom Mariah's retirement was a long time coming due to disappeared since then. And ex Slayer drummer Dave Lombardo is simply not interested in answering questions on it, just moving forward in his life. I kind of don't blame the guy, you know what I mean? It's over, I think. Slayer's done. In a recent interview on the Mark and Me podcast, Lombardo was asked if he would be hypothetically interested in participating in a Slayer reunion. Klein to answer, saying he does not want to take the focus away from his new projects, the likes of Empire State Bastard. He's already kicking ass with other folks. I think we all just have to accept that Slayer's done and we have to check out Carrie's new band. I don't think Tom Mariah is going to be doing anything. I really don't want to answer anything like that because what ends up happening is that the focus right now would be on the Empire State Bastard and the future, which is, I think, a big part of my personal success is that I don't look back. Very cool, I say. I'm always striving to better myself musically, which the dude's already amazing, in every way possible. So answering a question like that sometimes takes away of what our focus is on right now. So respectively, I'm going to I have to decline the answer to that question with much respect dude you know what i'm saying that's i think that's the way he should have done it the article goes on to say lombardo's stance is consistent with his previous comments on the topic in a 2023 interview with revolver magazine he said that he doesn't think a reunion is likely and that it would be difficult to live up to the hype of slayer's farewell tour which like i said i was there it was awesome i don't even go down that path i don't see it ever happening if they're ever going to decide to come back they're going to piss off a lot of fans because man they really hyped up that farewell tour they're going to have to be very careful on how they approach that but who cares the fans will be happy regardless so i don't even think about that while lombardo may not be interested in this reunion it's clear that slayer remains an important part of his life obviously he reflected on his time with the band saying that he didn't fully appreciate the band's magnitude until he was older i was caught up in my own turmoil he says so a lot of it i really didn't see or really sense the magnitude of what the band was doing but now looking back he says i do but at the time you really didn't yeah i seen it get bigger and better but there were, at the time, a lot of questions. But then there were times where I just went with the flow. I just didn't care. I just played and I just enjoyed the ride. Which, what a ride it was, dude. Even when most of the band's members seemed to have moved on to different musical venues, while Tom Mariah disappeared from the musical landscape completely and lives his life as a happy grandpa, which I don't blame him, man. He's been doing it forever. Slayer's legacy remains firmly cemented in the annals of heavy music history and their impact on the genre continues to resonate with millions of fans worldwide. Man, I listen to Slayer every day. I I haven't stopped since I was 14, you know what I'm saying? That's just how it's going to be. Slayer's always going to be there. Down below, you can check him out on Mark and Me on the podcast. Hear what he has to say personally. Let me know what you guys think about Dave Lombardo just not wanting to talk about Slayer. Me, personally, I think he's on the right path. I think that's exactly what he needs to do, you know what I'm saying? Move on. The dude's an amazing drummer. He can probably jam for whoever he wants, basically. Dude's awesome. Let me know what you guys think. If you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next round. Later.